This channel community only a day or so ago released the first part of a quality review of the IPCC 6th assessment report. Part 1 of the review focused on the calculation of global warming. The IPCC report claimed that global warming as of 2020 had reached 1.1 degrees Celsius. But the quality review recalculated global warming using the strict method defined by the IPCC and found it to be just 0.81 degrees Celsius. The report concluded that the IPCC AR6 synthesis report therefore exaggerates global warming by a staggering margin of 35%. Our video explained how this miscalculation occurred. The miscalculation came about because the IPCC flagrantly failed to follow its own rule of using a 30-year period to measure global warming. Instead, a 10-year period, 2011 to 2020, was used. The review therefore concluded that this was a deliberate and dangerous exaggeration directed at policymakers around the world with the objective of installing a sense of urgency into the decision making of governments. Especially regarding the implementation of the Paris Agreement and the United Nations 2030 Agenda, which have this specific goal to take urgent action to combat climate change. But a flimsy and desperate defence of the IPCC has sprung up that claims this was just a one-off example and the use of the 10-year period 2011 to 2020 and the resulting calculation of 1.1 degrees Celsius were not intended to be taken as the definition of global warming as of end of year 2020. We put forward a speedy refutal of that defence. It is simply not supported by the evidence contained in the synthesis report. The claim of global warming being 1.1 degrees Celsius as of end of year 2020 is not only made in the headline statement section A.1, it is repeated in the summary for policymakers section A.1 and almost repeated in section 8.1.1. Although this time 1.1 degrees Celsius has reduced to 1.09 degrees Celsius. Perhaps being a little touchy, this inconsistency is typical of what appears to have been a hastily and clumsily prepared report. But pursuing our refutals, there are further convincing examples of where the 10-year period 2011 to 2020 and the value of 1.1 degrees Celsius are used to define global warming as of end of year 2020 in the synthesis report. Figure SPM.1 claims to show how future generations will experience different worlds starting from 2020. And how is global warming defined as of 2020? It is defined by the caption, which says 2011 to 2020 was around 1.1 degrees Celsius, warmer than 1850 to 1900. Another example, figure SPM.2, which claims to show regional changes in mean climate with the start reference temperature anomaly again being 1.1 degrees Celsius. The caption again reads, 2011 to 2020 was around 1.1 degrees Celsius, warmer than 1850 to 1900. Figure SPM.4 claims to show risks. The global warming reference point for these risks are indicated. 1.1 degrees Celsius. The same caption reads 2011 to 2020 was around 1.1 degrees Celsius, warmer than 1850 to 1900. We rest our case 
There can be no doubt that the 10-year period 2011 to 2020 has been cynically selected to exaggerate global warming. All members of the Synthesis Report Steering Committee, including Dr Ho Sung Lee, the IPCC Chair, should be required to answer the question, why have you ignored the IPCC's specification of a 30-year period to define global warming? Because this channel asserts that the choice of a 10-year period is being politically used by the IPCC to exaggerate global warming by 35%. If you enjoyed this video, you are invited to join our community on Locals.com. This link will take you directly to our site.